Picture the scene. You've travelled to a bucket list location to shoot some stunning imagery that you'll then upload to stock sites and hopefully make some cash from. One problem, you're not alone. In fact, when you arrive on location, the scene is packed with tourists and other photographers. But don't pack up and go home just yet, because there's a very easy way to make it look like you're the only person there. And it's all thanks to Affinity Photos Object Stacked feature. All you have to do is lock off the camera on a tripod, shoot multiple frames, and when you return home, load up the images and follow this technique to erase traffic and crowds from the scene. Even better, the whole technique takes less than one minute. Yes, really. To make your life easier, place all the images like to merge together in one separate folder before starting the technique. So, let's get started and learn how to rescue your stock shots and make some money. Start by heading to the top of the interface and selecting File. Scroll down and select New Stack. When the dialog box appears, click Add and then select the images that you'd like to stack together. Once the images are selected, click Open. Before proceeding, make sure that the Automatically Align Images box is ticked. This feature will help line up images if there's a little drift in between the frames, which is common when shooting multiple frames. Next, proceed by clicking OK. Affinity Photo will work its magic and merge all the files together to produce a final image that averages out all the objects that aren't consistent in the series of frames, thus ridding the scene of any unwanted distractions. Now, while the majority of photographers will use the object stacked feature to erase people in the scene, the feature can also be used for another creative effect. By heading to the Layers panel and clicking on the X icon, you'll be able to change from Median to Outlier. This will include all the people or objects from the frames in the final image. However, for this particular technique, we want to stick with Median. With the object stack completed, you can now add any extra touches to the frame, such as adjustment layers by heading to the top of the interface, clicking on Layer, scrolling down to a new adjustment layer, and picking from the selection. And in this case, I'm going to add an HSL adjustment layer. When the dialog box appears, I'm going to drag the saturation slider to the right to boost the colours in the scene. Once you're finished adding your adjustments, simply head up to File, scroll down to Export, and you can save the file in your chosen format. Thanks for watching, have fun creating your object stacks, and I'll see you next time.